Let's keep it simple, Mrs. Claus. Are you ignoring me? Intro. Dine Dulod. Installation, setup, general use. MO2 and Vortex, all links provided. Let's do it. SKSC64. If you need help with it, a video is linked. Sky UI for the optional mod configuration menu. Video linked. Race menu for the optional window glow adjustment menu. Video linked. Papyrus Util SE. Yes, linked. Microsoft Visual 2015 17 19. The video is. No, there's no video. It's an all in one file. You may already have it installed, and that's okay. Download it, run it, follow the prompts. Indistinguishable billboards for Skyrim Special Edition. Files, main files, vanilla medium. If you use Vivid Weathers, use that instead. Brightness options are preference. I have a video. <coughs> On how, to on how to create your own billboards if you want to give it a go. Once installed, move them to the top of your load order just after the DLC. If using Vortex, always load everything else after these billboards when given the option. When that's all done, move on to the installation section. At this point, here is what we have. SKSE64. Papyrus Util, Indistinguishable Billboards, and optionally, Sky UI and Race Menu all installed and enabled. Open your computer's download directory. Leave it open. Now, open the DynDulod link. Files, DynDulod Resources SE. At the installer, next for MO2, options for Vortex. What you choose is preference. My preference is all visual options and desync birds of prey. With your choices made, install. It takes a minute. Activate the mod. Look over your load order. See what tree mods, if any, you have installed. Go to those mod pages. See if billboards are provided. If they are, download them and make sure they load right after higher in numerical value than the base mod that they are provided for. Just like you see here. Open the Dine Dulod step link. Scroll down to Required Skyrim SE and Skyrim VR. Standalone. Don't sign up for anything, just download. When done, open the standalone archive. Place the Dine Dulod folder anywhere you like outside of the game's data folder. I put mine with my modding tools. MO2 users, open Modify Executables. Vortex users, go to your dashboard, add tool. Name, Dine Dulod. Command line argument. Dash SSE. Click the option to the right of the target or binary. Navigate to the Dine Dulod folder that we just moved out of the archive. Double click Dine Dulod X64EXE. Apply and or save. Again, MO2 users, open modify executables. Vortex, add tool. Name, text gen. Command line argument, dash SSE. Click the option to the right of the target binary, Dine Dulod folder, double click, TextGen X64EXE. Now to run this beast. From the MO2 dropdown or Vortex dashboard, launch TextGen. 256 is the default and recommended option for good quality performance balance. Lower numbers create better performance landscape textures based on what mods you have installed. Higher numbers for better visuals. For this video, leave the output formats at default. If there is enough request for an advanced tutorial, I'll create one sometime after the holidays. Start the text gem process. It took 4 minutes to complete for me. Exit. Dine Dulod folder. Open the new text gen output. Right click textures. Add to archive. Name it Dine Dulod Textures. Drag the textures into your mod manager. Install. Activate. Vortex users, load text gen after. Everyone, delete the text gen folder from the Dine Dulod folder. From the MO2 dropdown or Vortex dashboard, launch Dine Dulod. At the RTFM window, select OK. Right click in the Select Worlds window, select All. 
The preset options trade quality for performance. For this video, I recommend Medium. This takes longer than text gen, 8 minutes for me. Various windows will open and close. Save and exit when complete. Dine Dulad folder. Open the new Dine Dulad output. Highlight everything. Add to archive. Name it Dine Dulad output. Drag the output into your mod manager. Install and activate it. Make sure all of the plugins are activated as well. Delete the Dine Dulad output from the Dine Dulad folder. This word is getting very difficult to say. Luckily, the mod is now installed. Going forward, no mods should overwrite the text gen or Dine Dulad outputs or plugins unless otherwise stated. Always keep them at the end of your load order. If you add or remove mods that have LOD or trees, delete both outputs, regenerate them, then reinstall by following the video back. There's a handful of mods that require additional steps. Be sure to read your mod pages and Dine Dulad documents. Again, if there is a large enough request, I'll create an advanced video sometime after the holidays. Finally, if you have SkyUI installed, there is an MCM that you can look over. That wasn't too bad, huh? I'm off to create some more holiday cheer for my Saturalia series. See you soon.